In episode 46, I showed you guys an example of the perfect sandwich. So I decided because of all the feedback I've been getting that I was going to teach you all how to make the perfect sandwich. So here we go. All right, so you have the whole spread out like this. And first you get the Milton's whole grain bread. Then you lay it out symmetrically, okay, symmetrically. Then you slather on the mayonnaise. And when I say slather, mayonnaise is something that deserves to be slathered on both sides. And again, Colby Jack cheese, I told you guys this before, it's the best, Trader Joe's. Now, when you take the cheese, take a half slice of cheese, right, a half slice, you lay it there. Then you take the second slice and then you put that there. That way you basically have one layer of cheese. Now the meat's really important. You have to take the meat and you fold it in half properly like this and you lay it in one direction. Then you take the second slice, you lay it in the same direction and just fan it as, as there exactly, just like that. Now you take the other side, fold it in half and face it in the other direction. And this is how you get the perfect folds of meat. Yellow mustard, obviously, don't try any of the brown crap. Slather that on as well. And you just plop that on there like that. And give it a nice cut. Cutting it in half is always important. And then also, go pull out your um, pepperoncinis and your bread and butter pickles. They are the best. See, look at that perfect sandwich. Beautiful, huh? All right, like I said... The pepperoncinis and the bread and butter pickles are a great addition to the meal, but it's not just the fact that you have the items there, it's the juice on the plate that actually adds the extra flavor. Look at that, baby. Isn't that the most amazing sandwich? Now we're gonna go through this again. Mayo slathered. Cheese, you see the second layer? Perfect, one full layer basically. Then you got the meat, one layer, fanned. Second layer, fanned. Third layer, the other direction. And this is exactly how you're going to have to do it. Then you take the mayo, the mustard and you're smacking that mustard on there so you get the nice mustard mayo flavor. And that's the sandwich right there. Cut it in half and now you have the perfect sandwich. I dare you to find a sandwich better than this one. Boom. What do you think? Huh? Huh? Next step is to enjoy. Mm. Now, on to more serious topics. Of course, nothing is more serious than a good sandwich. But here we go. 527, H.L. Mencken. We are here, and it is now. Further than that, all human knowledge is moonshine. You hear that, social media, Facebook experts, CNN, Fox News, all of you? You're all moonshine to me and H.L. Mencken. 528, Benjamin Franklin. There is no kind of dishonesty into which otherwise good people more easily and frequently fall than that of defrauding the government. In other words, the tax man ain't your friend, pal. He ain't your friend. 529, Al Capone. Don't get the idea that I'm knocking the American system. <laughs> uh, 530, Howard Ruff. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. That reminds me. One of my favorite movies, directed by the late, great Tony Scott, starring Brad Pitt and Robert Redford. There's a scene where Redford decides to burn all his documents, all the documents in his safe, okay? And his secretary says, you sure you know what you're doing? He goes, when did, when did Noah build the ark? She goes, I don't know. He goes, before the rain. Before the rain. Love that. Be prepared, baby. Be prepared. Anyway, you know I love you. Enjoy yourselves. Make that sandwich because I want you to feel what I'm feeling right now. All right? Catch you tomorrow. Boom. Boom.